Well, I was going to say, uh, Vita video game me, but there's no more video games there. You can't video game me if you, there's no video game to video game me. Nope. I've moved all the video games from the office to here now. So all the video games are in this little area. And I uh, packed away my video game thing there. We sold MotorStorm for the PS3. This game is actually listed already, so it's sold. You'll see there's a bunch of games that sold later that weren't listed. It sold the same day when I released them. But this game wasn't listed. It was for like eight or nine dollars. More plush sold. Look at that. Just non-stop plush selling over here. So this cute uh, Vinnie the Pooh rattle. A little rattle toy for for kids for seven bucks. Another little plush sale. Vita loves those. Then it sold a baseball game out of here. I would say this is pretty uh, big. I don't know what this is, but it's a DVD player and a baseball bat. Interesting. Maybe mm. you can craft it. Very interesting. I don't know. It has to be the best thing ever since it sold, though. So it has to be amazing. Uh, that thing sold. Uh, and Bin D, we sold a light cover switch. <laughs> bin D is pretty much empty. I'm going to have to empty it out into a different bin. Okay. So this is a switch you put over your light switch for like a handy or something. I don't know. I got an auction house too for a bunch of different light switches and it's the last one I have now to sell. So they sell for decent money. Now I would say it's like 10 bucks, but if you get a bunch of them for cheap, I would probably do it. All right, then we sold a Connect little game system right here. This thing uh, sold as well. I got this at the same yard sale as all the weed stuff. Uh, same day as I got the Simpsons stuff, same, same day. Well, last year I sold of the year, I got that there. Uh, it's a little update with uh, my move. We hit a couple of little hurdles here with the moving truck because the guy that's supposed to move me down there is uh, also doing the Super Bowl. He's bringing stuff to the Super Bowl and he has to set up early uh, there, which is in Phoenix. And the setup is happening the same weekend where he has to move me. But he already promised to move me, but he also promised the Super Bowl. So he uh, overbooked himself. <laughs> so what's happening here is that he's parking the truck for me to load on uh, Saturday. Saturday the... 28th. 28th, is that the day? Yeah, the 28th. And uh, we should load it with my guys in two days, 28th and 29th. And then the 30th, me and my dad are taking my truck and we're driving down to Florida. And the uh, goal was, he was supposed to leave the 30th as well come there on the 1st or the 31st, we unload it and we're good to go. I just, I'm, look again, I, I can't focus on the story and tell you guys what's sold. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I sold the Axis and Allies, like game pieces or game cards or whatever, all these things right here sold. Um, so because he is gonna be in Phoenix, he can't leave that money now. He originally, he was supposed to leave Tuesday, but he can't do that anymore. So he's flying back Tuesday night and he's getting in the truck Wednesday morning, which is already February 1st. And he's gonna get there February 2nd. So it's gonna be kind of weird because it's gonna be me, my dad, my mom, my sister. I'm gonna be already all there February 1st with nothing. We're gonna be just there with, with the stuff that I bring on, on my car. And we're probably gonna get a bunch of uh, just blow up mattresses, blow those things up and stay in those for like two days until the truck gets there. So it's not ideal, it's definitely not ideal. But what can you do at this point? And we had a nice little ornament, a bundle sale going out the door. I don't know if it's to a viewer or not. There was no note left, but usually when I get a bundle sale, I just assume it's to a viewer. It might be to an ornament lover that doesn't watch me, but I feel like every person who loves ornaments loves the Philly Flipper. Right, Vita? Amen. Right? Who doesn't love ornaments and doesn't love me? We gotta get it like that we go to get her like peanut butter and ladies so roof in windsor colorado thank you Ruth. i would say thank you if you're watching we love we, we, we love we your just, we just say thank you thank you Ruth. you want to go judge her ornaments real quick yeah see if, see if they're vita approved or not really watching my taping yeah look at, that. look at this crisp amazing look. corners right there those four all right let's see judge ah yes we love anything that has a fun pattern this is cute yes again great two for two yeah. three for three and you do need some basic to like yeah, round out the fun. Yeah, it's a, but it's I love a good this. little silver white going think, there, right? Yeah, I think my favorites are probably those. No, I'm gonna go with these. Yeah, I do love favorites. a nice like marbled 
I, I, I love a good great great options. i love a good ornament that's not shaped like an ornament nice that's, that's great what I like. choices Ruth. I love great vita vita approves hey christmas is right on the corner christmas is right on the corner you can never be too early for christmas a little sale right here but they all uh, add up this is like a little sony um digital camera battery charger these is sell usually pretty well for me since for five bucks I wouldn't really buy them at like yard sales or garage sales, but you can find quite a bit of them in storage units. So that's where I got all mine from in the that day. So then I sold uh, these Nova D um, vintage headphones. Some of these are a hit or miss. Some of them sell for hundreds of bucks. Other ones um, don't. This one sold for 15, but if you get them for like five bucks or less, I would usually take a chance and, uh, and grab them. Uh, I think it's the last shoe sale of the weekend as well some keen uh men's hiking shoes so for 18 dollars keens are great uh keens sell really well people love hiking shoes with keens the only problem i have with keens is that if people wear them too much the size thing is on the side of the shoe and it's usually rubbed out so like right here it used to be a size tag over there and now it's gone so it used to be right there too it is gone so it's kind of hard when you buy keens to know what size they are because usually the size tag is gone i usually take like a tape measure i tape and i measure it in centimeters and i go to the keens website and try to compare it there and say hey according to centimeters this is size eight or whatever but i still i still got a couple of returns were saying no it's not an eight it's seven and a half i'm, I'm an eight it's too they're too small whatever so i have to eat that but most of them are turned out good. These skins right here sold. And these skins were touched by Vita yesterday or last week when she packed them away. So I guess this is her sale. That's her mother's touch sale right there was the Keens. <laughs> this is cute. So the little uh, pitcher, a uh, little creamer pitcher slash coffee mug cup. I feel like Vita will think this is not cute, but I think it's cute. Vita might not like think it's cute, but mm -hmm. that's like uh, somebody somewhere in Indiana owns that, you know. Indiana. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the stereotype is right, guys. Let's see. Let's see what state it's going to. Let's see if Vita was directionally correct or not. She's saying Indiana, and it's going to Delaware. It's going to Delaware, Vita. Just, you know. Apologize. The great people of the state of Indiana for assuming. I apologize to the great state of Indiana, but that right there is my 13th reason why I've never been to Delaware. <laughs> That's the reason why. That right there is the reason why. It's my 13th reason. I right, got a pretty cool set right here. So some vintage NES controllers for a super for a regular Nintendo. Uh, both of these guys have sold. Hey, and then E, we got some uh, uh, some binoculars are sold. Guys, look at Bin D. They have some things in there now. Then E still is pretty cool. Um, there's also some binoculars that have been in here. Maybe a little less full now. These little bush down binoculars. I don't know where they even came from. As far as anything else I can do to prepare for the move, I really can't do much. Okay, so uh, besides packing up here and that, I'm still looking for a bed. Ideally, I would still like to get a, a full bed. Um, buy that before I move, but if, if I don't do that, that's not the end of the world. I'll still gonna be fine. A table, I'm kind of really giving up hope for and looking. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to find a table there. I already have a pretty cool table here too that I was gonna put in my sunroom. We can put it in the dining room for now. It's a, it's a table that seats like four, so it's not ideal for dining situations, but I don't think I should have more than four guests there at the time, so I guess it will work until I find a bigger one. You need to look at how cool these ornaments are. These are some of my faves. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at those. Oh, wow. Show the people. These are stunning. Oh, I love ornaments that are this shape. Look at that. That's a showstopper. That's what we call those. These are stunning. You should you should keep some ornaments for your Christmas tree next year. For my Christmas be... tree? I'm celebrating Christmas up here. Oh, we celebrate I don't need a tree if I don't celebrate Christmas down there. I'm going to be up here for Christmas. It seems, like, it seems like, like a good waste of a tree. Uh, going back to here, more plush sold. Sun 7, we got an Eeyore. Okay, look how fast it is to find that. Huh? Look at that, finding plush in two seconds. Eeyore sold as well. Look at like, is that number five for plush? Five or six plush? All right, then we sold this. 
I'm glad I sold this because this was on the chopping block of me just, just taking it down and donating it. But I was like, you know what? It's a small item. If it sells, it sells. So it's full for six bucks. A Smart Like Pro little outlet cover, brand new thing. I don't know. Sold for six bucks. Guess I'm happy I didn't cut it. <laughs> All right. Let me sell another a plush. This is a big boy plush. 36 inches long. Pretty sure it's this girl that sold. Look, she's almost as big as Vita. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's three feet tall. Oh Pretty sure this is the one so but let me, let me check. Uh, let's see, floral black, blue dress, striped pants. That is a floral blue dress, that is striped pants, yeah. I don't appreciate the short joke. I am average size. No, I'm, it's not a short joke, it's just saying this, this, this girl is huge. Look at her, hold her up compared her to your head. head. <laughs> hold her up compared to you, we'll see. Look, she is almost your size. That's a big doll. Her eyes are scary. Ugh, I don't know. Look at her. Doll's kind of freaking out. You're scared of Raggedy Ann? Raggedy Ann freaks you out? She's cute. That girl sold for $30. I have no clue where she came from, but she sold. So the basic card. We sold the Yu-Gi-Oh card. We'll get those later. We sold the Craftsman Professional Sander. It was also on the verge of getting cut uh, this week. But so I had to keep it and see. Figured if, if it doesn't sell, I'll take it to Florida for me. If I need to, if I need a sander there, I can use it <laughs> until it sells. But it's sold. Uh, Craftsman, not the best brand for tools. Something you, you want to be look out for. But uh, I got it in an auction house, so I got it for dirt cheap. It's sold for like 15 bucks. All right, got some back-to-back -back big sales here. This is again somebody who's probably getting ready for uh, next year uh, for Halloween to get in, take advantage of the sale. While I have it, I think I had it listed for 50, look for 35. Uh, this is really cool, like totem pole uh, trend master. Uh, blow mold a bunch of different skulls on it this thing right here uh sold i got this in my big 500 dollars buy of blow molds this year in jersey like i said i'm already weighing a profit on that uh whatever sells it's pure money in my pocket whatever sells, i don't have to take to florida so it's win 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 wins this thing right here uh, sold this is cute right this cute? Mm -hmm. super cute i see that you've rearranged my office uh the reason why i rearranged your office is because I don't want to get the questions of, is this for sale? Is this for sale? Is this for sale? With the people that were coming here for the clothes. Yeah, yeah. But guess what I still got? Mm -hmm. I saw in that room, was there the shoes, are they for sale? I saw in that room. Like, no. Uh, those, those uh, my, um, what do you call those? My tumbuchki, how do you call those? Um, dressers. Dressers, yeah. yeah. Those for sale? Like, no, there's not for sale. No, sir. Anything in this room? Somebody should go into my 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 like actual listings of clothes and go through dig through those. That's oh. crazy. Yeah, people people were nutty over here. Vita yeah. put a bin of shoes in there. In my stack of clothes, Vita put a bin of shoes that I must have missed. What did uh, you want me to do? You told me to organize it. I organized it. Uh, the thing is, there was like three bins of shoes there. I moved two. <laughs> did not see the best one. And somebody comes up to me with a bin of shoes and buys all of them. I try, I try to tell her, like, these are not for sale. And she's like, no, they're in here. I'm like, I'm like yeah, but they're not supposed to be in there. She's like, I don't care. She said it was a dollar. This is the, this is the bin with the Jordans. Are you the serious? The cleats. Why? So Just say no. I, I, she was holding up the line. So I was like, just give me 20 bucks for the tote. And she did. So she, This lady is cored so well. There was like three pairs of Jordans in there. There was uh, some good Nike, some cleats. These were all unlisted somehow on my inventory. They, was, they, weren't, they weren't on my eBay. So I was gonna take them to New Jersey to have the guys consign them for me because I don't want to go back to list them all. And we accidentally left it in the sale and they all sold for a buck. <laughs> it is what it is. I guess somebody was happy. Uh, I, shouldn't, I should not have given them to her because she was really like mean and aggressive and rude, but we still did. So I guess, I guess I'm a good guy. I actually sold a Roomba. So the Roomba it comes with this. Now it comes with the charger, which is over here. And it also comes with some other stuff, the, the manuals and stuff. That whole thing right there is sold for $35. So yeah, mistakes were made. Again, what can you do? Uh, just something I don't really focus too much on. Fuck, rather focus on the positives <laughs> than that. All right, then we saw these really cool vases. I bought these thinking they, these were Wedgwood because they look just like Wedgwood and Cobalt Blue Wedgwood sells for a lot of money. So that's why I got these, but they're not Wedgwood. 
They're Wedgwood-esque, so they sell for way less than I thought. This sold for $15 with the sale, but I still paid a dollar for them, so I'm still in the profit. This is one that sale that goes, why is somebody buying that from you? No respect to my hustle, no respect to my game. She goes, why can't you just go buy a new toaster from somebody? Why are they buying a new toaster from you? Say you didn't say that, say you didn't say it. I'm not saying I didn't say it. Yeah. She goes, people can just go buy a new toaster. Why are you buying a toaster from the Philly Flipper? That's what she okay. said. I, I said that's what I said. Had no respect. Uh, no respect for my, my game. Uh, this is a Proctor Solix, terrible brand, uh, to sell toasters. Almost as bad as GE. Again, you want Sunbeam and stuff like that. But that still sold for $15. And uh, I paid a buck for it. <laughs> Not even a buck. I think I paid 25 cents for it. I think I got that at. Um... 127 was KO for a quarter. Oh, uh, Vita, Vita, we need you here. Uh oh. We need you here. We need you here for the flossy sale. It's happening! It is happening. Guys, remember last week, Vita picked out her magical item. And everything that she could pick out, she picked out flossy. She spoke to me. And we had Christy from Florida send me a lowball offer on it. I Don't. accepted, and she wrote, Don't. Thanks. Happy to help Vita stay on her winning streak. Don't. Even if it's kind of hideous. I've been selling it for 24 years, but I managed to learn something new from the channel so often. Thank you for being such inspiration. Aww. This is me, not you. I'm the inspiration and being real. Again, I'm being real. It will be a start to a great effect in your life. Keep up with the hustle. So, right. Vita, thank Christy Wilson. Christy in, Wilson in, in Florida. Florida. She's going to be my thank neighbor. Thank you so much. You got to go visit Christy her. actually said she's going to come and help me unpack. Maybe. Come over. Oh, oh, oh so, so visit yeah. her. Christy, you are amazing. I absolutely love you. I owe you my entire life. Um, you better package that with so much love and dude, care. so much love. There's, I don't know what you're gonna do with Flossy. <laughs> she goes, <but> it's hideous. <laughs> I don't know. I think I had a little uh, bit of like a seizure uh, when I went to pick okay. an item. <laughs> uh, but hey, Vita, but hey, we need the streak to continue now. They, you, oh. you know what happens <laughs> now. Shoot, okay. You can pick right. any, I'm not gonna put you in that corner. You can pick from anything any, over here. You know, I think I should go with. Flush. I you feel go like some that's plush. Okay. The best All right. Way to go. My favorite number is a four. So let's oh boy. See. What's in here? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh I don't know. Uh, she's not feeling anything mm. right now. Maybe her favorite number is not four. <laughs> no, my favorite number is actually twelve. Oh, squish models. I feel like this is good. This is a good option. Oh. This is a good option. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Mickey. I feel like that. Not even a squish model, but I know. Okay. Mickey, this beautiful Mickey plush. I uh, sell it. Sell it. Uh, sell it. It is for ages two plus. So if you have an amazing job, <laughs> Disney, it's 100% Disney, you know, <laughs> verified. And um, just cute, imagine. Just a cute little Mickey Imagine plush. him sitting on a bookshelf. Imagine a child falling in love and this being their toy. You know what I mean? The, the toy that they carry for years. It gets so go. grody that you have to throw it out. But here you go. He's, he's, Your clean, he's clean right now. Yes. He's clean and beautiful. I was going to say you have no chance on that thing, but you just sold flossy. So I'm Honestly, not, I'm, not I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling there confident. There we go. Guys, Mickey. Yo, oh, this oh, is a really cute squish model, though. This little yeah, apple. I can't believe you picked the apple. You I picked, kind of wanted you, you to. Picked Mickey, yeah. Okay, if uh, the apple sells, I'll, I'll consider that a victory. Also. <laughs> there we go, guys. Make sure you. Continue with the streak with the Mickey uh, yeah, plush. But exactly. thank you so much, Christy. We do appreciate it. Thank you for keeping Vita streak alive. And it sold a, a Barbie. It's actually going to bring this to uh, Whatnot if it didn't sell uh, this weekend, but it sold. Uh, this is a Spice Girls on tour uh, Barbie doll. This is. What's this one's name? Let me see. Let me see. Show me. 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 That looks. Who's that? Jerry oh, Spice is no, in there? No, no, it's um, Ginger Spice. Ginger. Ginger. Ginger Spice. Only one I know is Victoria Beckham and Mel B. So. Mel B was Scary Spice. Mm -hmm. Victoria was Posh. Posh. Right? Mm -hmm. See? I know. I know. I know my girls. Mel B. Mel B is like in my top 10 uh, women. I love me some Mel B. I think she's gorgeous. Uh, and then we sold a puzzle. He sold the puzzle, but where is it? Where is this puzzle? Merry Christmas, a thousand piece. Is this you? Yeah. We sold a sealed a thousand piece Merry Christmas uh, puzzle right here. And then we also sold uh, a board game. 
like that as well. Board games and puzzles. Big things like that. Very happy when those things leave. <laughs> this is at the very bottom. Of course it is. <laughs> we sold the ungame, which is right here. But guys, look at this ninja skills. Whoo! No cuts, no edits. Boom. There we go. This is called the ungame. How does it look based on the pictures of the people? How long would you say this game looks? Oh my god. <laughs> Tell it like it is with the ungame. This looks like an apple to apple situation or like, Maybe, like a clear. meme. If you like people, you'll love the ungame. Mm, well, there we go. Interesting. If somebody likes people, they're going to have to bought it. Let them, let them enjoy your ungame. Let them enjoy the ungame. I'm going to enjoy it leaving my warehouse. So there we go. Then we have a record, a Billy Joel glass house. Uh, this guy sold for five bucks. Uh, the guy that's in Jersey is going to be... Uh, Sign all my records for me, he said. So I don't have to do a new one at auction, I don't have to do an eBay auction with my record. So all the records that I have here that I haven't listed, I'm gonna take to him and have him sell them for me. And then everything that from here doesn't sell as well, I'm gonna take down, take to Jersey as well. So that's gonna be a big help uh, with the Florida stuff. So I'm excited about that. But here's Billy Joel Glass House, uh, this thing sold. And then I think we have a couple more sales to a viewer, even though he didn't say he was a viewer. But he bought quite a bit and he bought for me in the past i figured he is uh jason and Eklund. i'm pretty sure you're a viewer jason thank you so much jason bought quite a bit for me he bought uh some sirocco i'm probably get a i get a bin for you uh jason a sirocco composite wood uh, men and women figurines this is the last ones of these that i have i bought quite a bit of them at um uh, at the auction house here. I think I paid like 20 bucks for like 20 of the figures. They're really cool wooden uh, figurines and stuff. I had no clue what they were before I bought them, but I figured I'd buy a bunch. I will learn, see if it's worth it or not. Some of them were, some of them like the, like the old like, um, uh, like band people, people with like, with like fiddles and clarinets and stuff. Made out wood, they sold for some decent money. The rest of them really weren't worth it. These guys are just like an old man and woman with an umbrella. But look at how cool like the the woodwork it is. Look how cool these things are carved, isn't that? That is really, really cool. Nice. Is that handmade? I think so. It looks like a I don't think it's, I don't think it's dog made. Get out of here. <laughs> Me and my Billy Joel glass house. Yeah. So so Jason bought that, and then he also bought. Well, never mind. I'm not. I'm nowhere close to uh, <laughs> to being done here. Uh, Jason also bought, I think, my last willow tree. This is my last willow tree, Jason. So congrats to you on that. This right here, uh, last willow tree figurine. So thank you for that. So, uh, and then, if you scroll down, he also bought a Harry Potter keychain. That was all uh, uh, Jason. And this is my last keychain. So look at you, Jason. Well, for your sales, you bought my last keychain, my best, my last willow tree, and my last figurine, guys. So that's all right that's going to you. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Speaking of last, this is my last cast iron to sell. A large cast iron pan. I got this in at a storage auction, I think. That's where this one came from. Go for 40 bucks. Um, Lodge is not the best brand when it comes to cast iron. It's like it's like a mad brand. Uh, you you really want um, Griswold, I think. I think it's a Griswold. I think that's like the, like the Mercedes Benz of uh, of cast iron, but it still sells. All right, next we sold the DVD. We sold the West Side Story uh, sealed DVD. One of the few DVDs that I have left. I think I have I have less than ten DVDs left to sell. This thing right here uh, also sold. My battery on the GoPro is going very low, so I'm trying to hurry up and get past this. So the comic book is the first comic book of the weekend that sold. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 184. Sold for like 15 bucks, so we take those. If you guys like comic books, I am now starting off all my one auctions with a random comic book um, picker. You pay two bucks, I give you a random comic book. On Saturday, I gave away quite a bit of 12 cent, 12 cent issues. You guys know the, the comic books, the lower the, the amount, the older they are. I gave away quite a bit of 12 cent issues for, tw for two bucks. So if you guys want some of that action, come to my one show. This this uh, comic book right here sold for 15 bucks. Sold another plush. Sold another plush. This is a very rare moment 
where precious moments are worth something. Usually they are not worth quite a bit at all. I learned actually a lot of the figurines sell pretty well from watching Roman and Bigger. But this is a plush, a plush little precious moments figurine. This thing goes for like $25. You can take that for a plush. For a plush and precious moment plus for sure. Yeah, that's great. All right, so here's some of the stuff that I relisted um, this week that I realized was not listed. I'm like, this thing should have sold at the sale a long time ago, and it hasn't. And then I relisted it and it's sold. This is a really good game. X Files for the PS2. Um, it really, it's like a bolo, one of the best PS2 games to look, be on the lookout for. It's sold for $70 with the discount sale. 70 bucks for a video game sale. Um, I had it listed, I'm like, I'm like, it should have been sold by now. Like, they sell for usually $80, $90. Like, with the sale, it should have sold a long time ago. Uh, it finally did. Then also, another game that I listed was this UFC game. It sold for $10 with the discount sale. Also, wasn't listed somehow. I don't know how this happens when stuff isn't listed on my eBay. So I relisted that thing. So also in the next like two hours, those things were really, I knew they were gonna sell fast because they're in demand and with a sale uh, would definitely sell. And this one also <laughs> was relisted, see? Uh, and sold. This is Mario, Sonic Olympic Games. This isn't, this isn't like a high value game, but it's a popular game. I figured like it should have sold by now too. And it didn't sell because it wasn't listed. I think it sold for 10 bucks as well. So. Uh, three video games, all listed on Friday, all sold on Friday. We love to see it. Next, we have another repeat buyer. So I'm guessing it could be a viewer, Brenda in Houston, Texas. If you are, thank you so much. We saw the Harley Davidson pillow. This is another thing I was going to take to my whatnot if it didn't sell, but uh, on Saturday, but it sold, so I didn't have to take it. It's a brand new with tags, leather uh, pillow that sold. So thank you, Brenda. What are you scared of? A pillow? Be this kind of a pillow, guys. We learned that just now. And then I think we had like one or two more, and my battery is at four percent, so we had to hurry up. One thing left. Uh, it's a Hamilton Beach uh, Jedi Green Milkshake Mixer. It's gonna go for seventy dollars. So if you guys saw on my um, eBay channel yesterday, two days ago, I sold a black one of these. Hamilton Beach things for think 30 bucks. That one was working. Those usually sell for like 30, 35 bucks. If you guys find these, these are Jedi green, these colors, these guys are way older than the black ones. And these sell for serious money. Uh, 200, $300 a day. The battery was so close, didn't make it. So I said, uh, this, you see this one has the cord all ripped up. It's in pieces, the motor's off, that's off. So the four parts are now working as is. Still for seventy dollars. If you guys see Hamilton Beach milkshake mixes, big bolo, sell for quite a bit of money. Uh, I think I bought five in twenty twenty two, and now I have zero left. So you know they all sell, sell really well as well. And that is it. And that's it for sales. Thank you to all the people that bought from me that watch. You guys are real MVPs. Uh, really do appreciate the support. You gotta get to work. You gotta pack all this because we still have a long day. Like Evita over here, killing it like always. All this is ready, ready for me to put labels on. Love to see it. Evita's on the phone, so she can't say goodbye to you guys. But I'm sure if she was here, she would say, thank you guys. Uh, you guys are the best. And make sure to tell Paul how great of a boss he is. Make sure you guys write in the comments <laughs> how great of a boss I am. She's gonna be, she's gonna love to see that when she sees the video. But anyway guys, thank you so much. Uh, we gotta get to work, bye-bye.